This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create a massive asteroid in deep space. Before we begin, if you want to know as soon as I upload new Photoshop tutorials, smash that subscribe button and please remember to click like if you like this video. The first step is to create a new document by pressing Ctrl N on Windows or Command N on a Mac. Make its width 1920 pixels, its height 1080 pixels, and its resolution 150 pixels per inch. The color mode is RGB and 8 bits per channel. Make the background black, then click Create. Click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. Open your Polygonal Lasso tool and draw connecting lines to shape your asteroid. Check your foreground and background colors. If they aren't black and white respectively, press D on your keyboard. Go to Filter, Render, and Clouds. Go back to Filter, Render, and Difference Clouds. Next, we'll brush spots over our image, which will look like craters once we add a filter to it. Open your Brush Tool and Brush Picker. Click the gear icon and click Legacy Brushes. Click OK or press Enter or Return. Scroll down to the Legacy Brushes folder and open it. Scroll down to the M Brushes folder and open it. Scroll down once again and click Fuzzy. Make its size 75 pixels and its opacity 50%. Invert the colors by pressing X. White should be our foreground color. Randomly brush over your image. Next, we'll soften the edge of our asteroid. Go to Select, Modify, and Contract. Contract it 2 pixels. Go back to Select, Modify, and Feather. Feather it 2 pixels. Click the Layer Mask icon to make a layer mask next to the asteroid shape. We'll convert it into a smart object so we can modify it non-destructively. To do this, click the icon at the upper right and click Convert to Smart Object. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open the Sketch folder and click Base Relief. Make the Detail 15, the Smoothness 1, and the Light from the right. We'll center it by pressing Ctrl or Command A, which selects the dimensions of our document, and open your Move tool. Click the Align Horizontal Centers icon and the Align Vertical Centers icon. Then deselect it. Go to Filter, Distort, and Spherize. Make the amount 100%. Repeat the filter by pressing Ctrl-Alt-F on Windows or command Ctrl f on a Mac. Then click OK or press Enter or Return. Repeat the same shortcut one more time. To resize it and to squeeze in its shape, press Ctrl or command t to open your Transform tool. If this message pops up, it's just letting us know that the Spherize effect will be temporarily turned off until we're finished with the Transform tool. Just click OK or press Enter or Return. Go to a corner. If you're using CC 2019 or later, press and hold Alt or Option as you drag it in. On earlier versions, press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift as you drag it. Go to a side anchor point and press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift or just the Shift key as you drag it in to squeeze in its shape. Next, we'll add a highlight at the upper left and a shadow at the lower right. Open your Polygonal Lasso tool. Draw connecting jagged lines over your asteroid without releasing your mouse or pen. Go outside your document and click the first point to complete the path. Go to Select, Modify, and Feather. Feather it two pixels to soften the edge of the selection. 
make a new layer, and fill the selection with black. Then deselect it. Control or Command click the asteroid to select its shape. Click the layer mask icon to make a layer mask of the selection next to the active layer. This confines the shadow to just inside the asteroid. Don't be concerned about the white fringe along the asteroid's edge. We'll take care of that later. Make the shadow active and change its blend mode to overlay. Make a new layer. In this layer, we'll add a highlight to the upper left of our asteroid. But first, we'll place the asteroid's layer mask next to the empty layer to confine the highlight. To do this, go to the layer mask and press and hold Alt or Option as we drag a copy of it next to the empty layer. Change the layer's blend mode to soft light. As before, drag your polygonal lasso tool over the asteroid and go to Select, Modify, and Feather. This time, feather it 4 pixels. Fill it with white and deselect it. Shift click the asteroid to make all the layers active and convert them into one smart object. Double click an empty area of the asteroid layer to open its layer star window. Click bevel and emboss. The style is inner bevel, the technique is smooth, and the depth is 100%. The direction is up, the size is 250 pixels, and the soften is zero. The angle is 120 degrees, and the altitude is 30 degrees. The gloss contour is linear. The highlight mode is soft light, the color is white, and the opacity is 100%. The shadow mode is linear burn, the color is black, and the opacity is 80%. Then convert it again into one smart object since we want the remainder of the filters to be added to our visible image. Open the Transform tool and resize your asteroid, angle it, and reposition it. Go to Filter, Blur, and surface blur. This filter basically blurs an image while preserving its edges. Make the radius 100 pixels and the threshold 30 levels. Click the adjustment layer icon and click levels. It's important to know that adjustment layers affect all the layers below them in the layers panel. If we want an adjustment layer to affect just the one layer below it, we'll need to click the clipping mask icon or go to layer and create clipping mask. Make the input shadows 30 and the input midtones 0.7. Next, we'll create stars behind our asteroid. Unlock the background and convert it to a smart object. Go to Filter, Noise, and add noise. Make the amount 100%, Gaussian, and monochromatic. Go back to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Blur it 0.3 pixels. Open Levels by pressing Ctrl or Command L. Make its input shadows 200 and its input highlights 225. Next, we'll add a bright light source in the distance. Make a new layer. We'll fill it with black. If your background color is black, press Ctrl or Command plus Delete. If your foreground color is black, press Alt or Option plus Delete. Change its Blend Mode to Screen. Go to Filter, Render, and Lens Flare. The lens type is 105mm Prime, and the brightness is 80%. Drag the lens flare to approximately here. Next, we'll colorize the light. Click the adjustment layer icon and click Hue Saturation. Clip it to the lens flare. Check Colorize 
and make the hue 30. Next, we'll mask out the secondary flares. Make the lens flare layer active and click the layer mask icon to make a layer mask next to it. Open your brush tool and brush picker. Pick a soft round brush. We'll adjust its size in a moment. Make the hardness 0% and the opacity and flow 100%. To adjust your brush's size, make sure the caps lock key is off and press the left or right bracket key on your keyboard. Brush over the secondary flares to mask them out. Make the top adjustment layer active and make a new layer above it. Let's name it Trail. Open the brush picker. If you don't see the Legacy Brushes folder, open the General Brushes folder and scroll down. When you see it, open it and scroll down. Open the M Brushes folder and scroll down once again. Click Fuzzy. Make its size 300 pixels, its hardness 100%, its opacity is 20% and its flow is 100%. Brush across trails at the same angle. Open back your brush picker and reduce its size to 150 pixels and its opacity to 10%. Brush over the same area the same angle as before. Next, we'll fade out the trails. Click the Layer Mask icon to make a layer mask next to the trails. Open the Gradient tool and make sure the linear gradient is active. Open your list of gradient presets and click the black and white thumbnail. Place the tool just outside your document and drag it to approximately here, then release. If you prefer your asteroid have a smoother surface, more like a boulder, I'll show you how to achieve it. Double click the thumbnail of your asteroid to open its source and double click the thumbnail to open its source. Double click its thumbnail one last time to open the original image we used to create the asteroid. Make a new layer. We'll make a copy of the layer mask and drag it up next to the new layer by pressing and holding Alt or Option as we drag the copy straight up and release. Control or Command click the layer mask to select its shape. Hide the bottom layer and go to Filter, Render, and Clouds. Open your brush tool and brush picker. With the fuzzy brush still active and its opacity 30%, make your foreground color white. As before, randomly brush over it. Increase its size for a few of them, deselect it, and close its tab. When you see this message, just click Yes to save the changes. Close the next Smart Object document and click Yes to save the changes. Do this one last time for the last smart object. Double click Surface Blur to open it. Make the radius 70 pixels and the threshold 80 levels. Make Levels active and shift click the asteroid to make it active as well. Convert them into one smart object. Next, we'll sharpen the surface. Make a copy of the asteroid and go to Filter, Other, and High Pass. Basically, this filter fills the entire image with a flat neutral gray and looks for edges in the image. It highlights them by making the light side of the edge lighter and the dark side darker. The radius value affects the width of the edge. In this case, we'll increase the radius 2 pixels. Changing its blend mode to any of these will sharpen our image. Each one sharpens it slightly more or less. I'll choose linear light for this example. Lastly, we'll fade out the trails on the inside of the asteroid. Make the layer mask active and open your brush picker. Pick a soft round brush. Increase the opacity to approximately 50% 
increase its size, and brush over the trails inside the asteroid to fade them out. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.